So Ethan, you guys have a great call center there where you help a lot of customers with any issues they might have. Is there anything that you find that comes up that's a little bit hard to explain over the phone, but in person or in video would be super simple to show us? Yeah, there is. And one, the first one that comes to mind is uh, if the customer has disassembled their gun, there's one part that sometimes may fall off of the trigger assembly. And it's the, the D-clip that retains the trigger guard pin. Okay. If it's not there and they continue to use the gun, they'll probably see something like this, which is the trigger guard pin is actually walking out of position. Okay. So if they call our customer service, we'll replace that D-clip for them, but they'll have to put it back on the bushing. So I'm going to show, show you how to do it. The clip I'm talking about is right here. And if it wasn't there, that's the D clip. So if it wasn't there, it's going to look something like this. This bushing, if the trigger assembly is not in the gun, may actually even come okay. out. Um, but it will go, if they're putting it back in, it will go from left to right. The D clip can be installed by hand. There's a notch in the bushing, the straight edge of the D clip goes into the notch and then it can just be pushed over the bushing and you'll hear it snap in place. Okay. And then that will retain the trigger guard pin as it's pushed through the receiver. You hear it snap into place. Yep. So push the shell latch button, reinstall the trigger guard. Take our trigger guard pin. And tap it back in. Super easy fix. It is.